ultimately was that about the team in the end that three points yeah it was I think I think our first half I think we, we controlled large parts of it and I think if we'd have got the third goal I think we would have seen the game out but we knew that, that Watford had confidence and, and we knew that if we didn't get the third goal the last 10 minutes was, was going to be how it played out and uh, no, we all dug in and um, we knew we needed to win today the goalkeeper didn't have a huge amount to do, but in the end, right at the very end, he showed yeah. why he's probably the best in the business. Yeah, I think, uh, I think, yeah, like you say, he didn't have much to do. I think we we defended well as a team, but it's why he's one of the best in the world is because in those crucial moments, the last minute where some goalkeepers can switch off because they've not had nothing to do, he just he stands up and we know he's there. David, we've seen you make uh, so many great saves in your time at United, but that one right at the end, where where does that one where does that one rank? <laughs> Well, it was uh, important to give the, the three points. Uh, I think it was a, a really tough game. Uh, they pressed a lot. They put a lot of balls in the box. So it's a, a really important game for us. And, and we, did, we did well. We won. And we're happy. I guess from, from your point of view, you don't have much time to react in a situation like that. But it's just an instinct when you make the save. Yeah, normally if, when it's a, a header and it's close to the goal, just to you have to react as quick as possible. I I made the, the save, so important for the team, for me. So we are all all happy. Your goal was the match winner. Fit to win yeah. the match as well. Take us through that uh, that bit of technique. Yeah, I think uh, I was just sort of hovering in there, hoping to, and then the fact that it just come up and it was obviously quite high. But I thought, why not? Let's just lash it and uh, no, it's just chuffed it went in. Chest trap, swivel, volley into the roof of the net. With respect, we probably don't think of Chris scoring that sort of goal but it was fantastic technique wasn't it? yeah it was a great goal from Chris um, something we've been trying to to, um, to do really is score more goals from set plays and, and create more chances and, and, and trying to come up with things to do that so it was nice to see one going from, from today normally it's, a, normally it's a header or, or a right foot but it was a lovely volley on the left but after the, the, the goal went in the manager was clearly celebrating with the coaching staff was, was that you know from the training ground that sort of thing with Fellaini involved yeah, well, it's, it's something that you do. I think you're always trying to come up with little things, set plays, and um, there's a lot of work goes on during the week to to trying to put it into practice. So when you do, um, especially when it's a goal, I think it obviously it, you know that feeling when when a goal goes in and, it, and it's something then it, it is extra special um, and it kind of satisfying in a way. But there's there's plenty of things throughout the game that you see and you're trying to take bits from of um, that have been in the training ground over recent weeks and a lot of it's pleasing to see.